So I guess you can fly with the door open today. Wow, very complex. And guys, welcome to Flight Simulator X today. And we're going to watch this plane take off right as we start out the episode. Um, so as you guys know, I'm Bethel Labs. Um, I have to go over a few things here. Um, I'm buying a model of a Boeing 757-200 for this game. Um, it, I think I'm going to have the Delta Airlines skin on it, or American Airlines, or some skin. Just a skin on there, obviously. Um, yeah, uh, that plane is nice. I don't even know how it's using that plane. I don't even have that plane in a folder. Um, that's very interesting. I can't even use that plane. But, um... Yeah, I'm here at um, Grand Rapids Airport uh, International, or er, Grand Rapids Municipal Airport, and a passenger aircraft is taking off right now. It started in two slots down. I'm starting in the biggest slot, and he's a bigger plane than me, but I give him credit for it for coming here um, and flying passengers out. V1 and rotate, and V2 and gear up. All right. Um, it's foggy today, so I'm going to be doing, trying to do a, uh, a nice approach here. I'm going to do two flights today. Um, I'm in the Grand Caravan, obviously. And, yeah, um, this is going to be very interesting. Um, let's so, I feel like we should just hop on inside. Um, yeah. Um, so while I'm starting it up, I did change the volume of some stuff for this flight in particular. There we go. Ignitions on check. Give us some fuel. There we are. Right action. How do we do this? I forget how to do this next part. Prep. Um. Crepper. Updating beacon switch, what's this? Navigation lights on, check. Strobe lights on, check. Landing light switch on. What's this, I don't even know. No smoking sign, yes, put that on. And, yeah. Okay, so. starter up. And actually, let's just check to make sure everyone's seated. Obviously, they're all seated. And let's get our push back. No, it's dead. So I'm going to take off. I'm taking off on the reef bar 1-6. 1-6 is
Delta, 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 taking off. Epic Runway fail. One, Epic six, fail. Touch and go. Left traffic. I lowered sound for you guys. One six. Clear. Take off. Holding. Plan us flying earlier. Had a good thing. I liked it. It, it told me. It was full electronic panel and everything, which I really liked. I think I was in here. Yeah, so hopefully when I get up here, I'll be able to see the runway a little bit. Because right now I'm doing VFR, and I cannot do VFR officially with this aircraft. Er, no, IFR. I can't do it. I'm, sure. er, I'm doing VFR, but I should have IFR take off. So I'm set. Not a smart move. Not a smart move. I'm going to move a little bit here in my FR. The VOR. Ooh. Mm, nope. Mm -hmm. Can't see anything today. So, um, yeah. Officially, hopefully, I'm climbing and I'm turning very hard. <laughs> I look at my altimeter and it's going up. And I look at my um, artificial horizon, which I'm going to meet. I have no idea where the ground is right now. And I'll need to use my ulti altimeter a lot too. So I'm pitching down. So I'm this is horrible weather to be flying in. Back off the speed. Back off the speed. Back off the speed. Oh, keep it there. Keep it at one point. Oops. Oh, wow. We had a flight path. Descend, James. Do not descend at the rate of climbing we're being at. Oops, bank right again. Don't bank too far because you want positive climb still. Be firm. Okay, perpendicular. Okay, cool. So, actually, I got a visual break there. Now it's going right back in the fog. But I saw the runway, which is going to be not helpful at all in any way, shape, or form because I lost the runway. I don't know if I'm going to do two takeoffs and landings this episode. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make one. Flaps. I should probably kick flaps way before I'm actually going to. I don't know if it's a Oops, there it is. Just barely. Just a small little smidgen. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Kick second. Kick third. Flaps at full. Check. Oops, a little more horsepower. Let's get that wide. That was a little bug there. Uh oh, I'm... 
officially lost the runway for some reason. IOS. Down, 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 down. Back and down, back and down, back and down. 50, 30, 20, 5 knots, or 35. outside my house right now. It's funny because it's really foggy in game. Um, let's look at the outside of the aircraft again. Um, can't see like any more snow. Slower down. Slower down. This aircraft in game is actually really like a beast. I'm not joking. It is a beast. Taxing the parking. <laughs> Which will take a little bit because I cannot go over 25 knots and put it out. Um, let's go over the cockpit and do some debrief of this stuff. Uh huh. Okay, so. Um, in there, we want to. Oops, I need my mouse not to, to be mad at anyone. I'm going to put my taxi set on speed. No. I want to check. Set it to full power in the back. Smart. Oh, and my trim off. <laughs> that might have helped with my landing. I, for some reason, this is bugged out now too. I'm. It's fog. I swear. Recording fog and like all these other things. Taxing off run or taxi moves. That's a new vision state. Actually, take the first slide. Slide two. Alright, slide two.
to know if I pop the outside view. Really? Not on the line? Usually that's great on the line. There we are, holding. Okay, so set the parking brake. Parking brake set. And checked um, that uh, gents, which is. State to measure mission switch. Off. Fuel pump. Off. That's off. State. Yep. Turn. Source switch off. Master Avionics off. APU. Fuel's off. Okay, let's see how long this thing idle does. With no fuel. In technical state of mind right now, it shouldn't be running. So yeah, guys, um, I don't know how my air truck control menu is still up. It's every single bat gen in my aircraft is off. See, air truck control window is still has options for me. If I click on them, I'm retarded. They actually do that. But, um, hope you guys enjoyed. I don't. Wow. I didn't know I could change the idle. Mm, that's cool. I like this in plane. It's actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of fog flying. Um, the weather where I am is actually pretty pretty close to this. So I'm, I'm gonna look out my window right now. Yeah, it's not as foggy. It's rainy. Yeah, Minnesota. 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 No, it's Minnesota. You never guessed. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, I enjoy doing this for you. Um, remember to leave a comment if you want more or any aircraft you would like me to get into and stuff like that. Because I will try to do so. Um, I'm trying. So the next aircraft is the ATR 72. Or actually, yeah, ATR 72. And then the AQ 400. And then Boeing 737, which is the the model from the this, this actual uh, game. And then finally, we will be doing our iOS, or I don't know if it's going to be iOS, but we're going to do our 757 training and fly because I love that aircraft. It's my favorite. I love sit sitting in the plane. It is my favorite plane of all time, I swear. It is. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Actually, I should probably go turn my fuel switch off, or master uh, instrument. Can I switch you off, please? No, I guess I can't turn my master ignition off until fuel. Let's go. What's it? Ah! <laughs> yeah, it might. Might. That might help my situation. Fuel cut, but the fuel pump. And there, done. Parking brakes aren't on anymore. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, and I'll make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And Jeff, just just giving you an FYI, I I did a few things wrong in this episode. Um, probably took me 12 times to record, and yeah, so that's what happened. So see you guys all next time.